Hey everybody, I brought my dogs out here to run around um, while I wait for some stuff to cook at home. I'm gonna be making them homemade dog treats later. So I threw some apples that we picked last weekend into a crock pot to make applesauce, which I'll use as the sweetener. Anyhow, I'll make a video about that later. But I wanted to take a minute and kind of walk through three misconceptions about German short hairs that I think everybody needs to know about. Um, first one being that it is okay if your dogs act differently with you than they do your significant other, which is the case in our family. So I've seen a few comments on a couple of my other videos that people are saying that my dogs are not trained hunting dogs, which is simply not true. They just don't hunt when they're with me because I'm not a pheasant hunter. My husband is the pheasant hunter in our family. He is a guide for A1Ls out of Emory, South Dakota and they handle differently for him than they do for me because we do things that are different, which is okay. So when they're with me, we go hiking. So that means I let them out of their kennels, they get to run around, nose is usually to the ground, but it's different than when they're hunting. Um, I have different collars on them when we go hiking and we're usually in different places than when he takes them hunting. So it's just a different experience overall. But when he suits up into his pheasant hunting gear, he's got his gun, he puts the special collars on them and he takes them specifically out for pheasants in certain fields um, that they're able to recognize that they're able to turn the switch on and be hunting dogs and um, they are trained they are very good at what they do and i think in the future here in the next month or two i will make a video about that The next misconception is that German short hairs can hunt and only hunt and they can't do anything else and you should leave them in their kennel so that all they do is hunt or think about hunting or practice hunting, um, which is simply not true. So the hunting season for them is pretty short, only a couple, a month or two, depending on if you hunt preserves or just public land. And otherwise there's 10 to 11 months out of the year where I don't know what you think you're going to do with them. So we do train year round. They do different things, but they also play fetch. They also have fun. They also go hiking. They also go on a boat because they like to go fishing. They do all sorts of things because it's okay. And guess what? When hunting season comes around, they still hunt really well. So as long as you keep them sharp, keep them doing things year round, it is also okay to do other things with them. They will be ready to hunt. It is in their blood. Lastly is the misconception that German short hairs aren't good family dogs, which is also not true. Our German short hairs are incredible with our kids, incredible with us. They are great indoors. They are great outside. They're an all around awesome breed and I can't imagine owning anything else, except sometimes when I just want to take a nap and they don't. But at any rate, they sleep with our kids. They play with our kids. They do all sorts of things and are great with our kids. They have high energy, which is great for kids because kids have high energy. Um, and all around, I wouldn't trade them most days. <laughs> I mean, they're German children after all. So I hope these misconceptions have helped you. I know some people can be deterred from getting a German short hair because of some of these, but I don't want you to be afraid to think that just because your dogs have high energy, are good family dogs, also badass hunting dogs, that there's something wrong with your dogs because they're not. My dogs are amazing. So I will see you at home. I'm going to be making some homemade dog treats, so I hope that you'll join me for that video later. Have a great rest of your weekend.